Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Adventure card game. We are still in campaign one, we're moving on to quest four, we must away. And I don't know why they took away the pictures. Now they got just one, two, three, the numbers here. They used to have those nice pictures there. But anyway, let's just move right into the game here. Quest four, we must away. In our pursuit of Bilbo. With the door still. You fought your way into the forest of Mirkwood to rescue the famous Bilbo Baggins. After fighting spiders and bears and meeting a strange creature by the name of Smeagol, you arrive at a ruined structure deep in the forest. The old ruin operates as a staging point for mysterious slave caravans managed by a host of orcs. You believe the old hobbit is imprisoned in the tower. You manage to sneak into the structure, but without warning you are betrayed by Smeagol. Triggering an ancient mechanical trap, the contemptible creature drops you into a rancid basin. Knocked unconscious by falling debris, you finally come to your senses. Ufak's room is as dark as his mood. He tears into the cold meat, juices gushing down his scarred jaw. Things are afoot the great orc cannot explain. Attacks in the forest, a ravaged patrol. The storage room mysteriously emptied. Ufak grunts and angrily throws his empty drinking horn against the wall, where it splinters to join a pile of dry bones and other detritus on the floor. Breathing heavily from climbing the stairs, Ufak's mewling steward, slagged, worms his thin frame into the room. Must the goblin always be clutching one of his parchments? What do you want, foam? Ufak licks dry the bone, and it joins the drinking horn. A visitor has come, Ufak! Slagged lisps, and adjusts his cloak nervously. Come told you, Lord. Fear is not a common emotion in orcs, and Ufak considers himself uncommonly brave. Even so, he cannot halt the tendrils of dread that shoots down his spine. The mouth of the cold one has come. You force your bruised body to stand, head throbbing like a dwarven feast. Your garments are soaked and dripping from lying in stagnant water. Now where has that blighted Smeagol dumped you? The ceiling above must have retreated to its former position. Through a crack in the wall, moonlight paints the dank cellar in a bloom of grey light. Your feet splash as they move, for the nearby swamp has laced its way into the tower's foundations. Stale water and light-starved cattails fill most of the cellar. White tadpoles skitter about in the water, and thin lizards bob their heads on the slimy walls. The far end of the cellar is hidden in shadow. Did the shadow just move? It rolls and ripples before emerging into the moonlight. It's not a shadow at all, but some vast slug. It extends its beer moth head and eye tentacles towards you snorts a drizzle of fetid saliva, and proceeds to tug its enormous body under itself. It seems to have made up its mind. You are food. We stand together. Huh. Dwali, at your service. My axe is restless in my hands. Chewie! Thought I was. <clears throat> I don't need that many. But I do need them. Do I want gaining strength right now? I think I'll hold it for one more guy. Interesting. Interesting. Defeat the giant slug. 3 11. Or one giant slow when it attacks, revenge. Okay, three, he'll go right through him. My eyes
accumulate. try to kill him. So maybe I should just use his power. Or, instead of gaining one, I could just swing into him, put him down to five. And then someone could be, from him, kill him. Instead of using two people to kill him. Yep. I'm not sure what we thought. Oh, that's right. He, he heals one on revenge. I should have played. I should have just played him. And then got the extra power from it. That's okay. Too bad. Rolling. I don't feel like I need to play anything right now. <clears throat> yeah, I could go ahead and play the Dwarven Warrior. What the hell was that? I could go ahead and play the Dwarven Warrior. Oof. There's also, there's also a treachery card in play. Oh, maybe it's the exhaust one that we can go ahead and get rid of it. This is the first time that even a mouse has crept along under my very nose yep. and not been spotted. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I triggered that. Oh, well. Oh, exhaust giant slug. <laughs> well, that's very specific. We don't need that. All right, let's roll. Tall figure awaits Ulfag in the tower's main hall. He wears cold hammered black armor, and a black cowl shadows his features except for the unnatural glint in his gray eyes. Ulfag purposefully strides into the hall to stand before the imposing figure. Damned if he will show the fear he feels. The mouth of Dol Galdor is not fooled. It smiles coolly. You have message from cold ones? Ulfak snarls, discomforted by the unnatural chill emanating from Dol Galdor's favored messenger. I have ridden without halt, so I shall be precise. The voice is like frozen stone. I need to inform you that the masters need the promised slaves with haste. The last batch expired faster than anticipated. New prisoners, all here, mouth. Oh, that grunts. My warriors, provision first. Leave for Black Hill next dark. At that moment, the tower rumbles and jokes, as if a great fist had struck its foundations. The enormous slug falls and the walls tremble, sousing the air with an avalanche of grime. Behind a patch of bogland ivy, you discover a narrow staircase and commence to climb the moldy steps at once. While ascending, a clamor can be heard in the tower above. Harsh yells, clanging of doors, and the bellows of a great orc. How will you ever get out? The stairs emerge into a derelict alcove, overgrown with cobwebs and moss. It faces a great room, finely decorated of old, but now ruined and forgotten. As the racket of the enemy grows closer, you no doubt that he'll soon be upon you. Speed may be your only hope. You rush towards a set of oaken doors on the far wall, when disaster strikes. As you emerge from the alcove, a troop of orcs slog into the room. 
They roar in excitement and draw their weapons as more enemies arrive. You are surrounded. Cannot catch a break. It's about four rounds. Okay. The tower is a haven of the enemy. Orcs and other dark creatures have claimed this place as their own. And they will fight to their last man to hold back interlopers such as yourself. So it's going to summon two random enemies. Great. Great, great, great. Alright. <clears throat> Upkeep damage one, range one, range one. Okay. Well. Let's, uh... Is it four? Is it a crime to be lost in the forest? Yep. Start clearing out some of these other guys. So they don't get the chance to attack. Stealth. It's gonna kill him. Yep. That's okay. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Gain Star Wall. That's really good, dude. Ooh, I have both those swords out. Nice. Let's get rid of him. Plus two, it's not gonna matter. I might play this cram just to heal up. Someone, he's at six, seven, seven. I don't have any block yet, any of my cards. He's got two cards in hand. And then I can clear that guy too. I, I guess I could have done one of them and gave him more power, but uh, I wanted to heal him up. Three, five. Dorbin X. I like all that. Clear him. Revenge plus one, gain threat, summon one. Oh, he summons two when you kill him? That's kind of rough. Let's get Dorbin X on him. <laughs> he's, got, he's at zero, so. Alright, I was waiting for him to pass before I started doing. Attack with everything. Oh, we're gonna hold on to Gandalf. We don't need to draw three. He could summon Ufink. I could play him and lower the threat by three. But he has fleeting, so. Can I take Ufink? Four, seven. Four? Jesus. I guess we'll find out. Because he's a coming. The doors don't back away from a good challenge. Heavy footsteps echo down the stairwell, growing louder with each step. A large shadow falls across the flagstone as a mighty orc enters the chamber. Silhouetted by torchlight, Ufink snarls a command to his eager minions. The battle is joined. Four. 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 Four.
Ooh. Okay. Well. He's swinging in for four. It is better to go ahead and kill this guy so we don't take that three. And then... So I gotta swing in with him here. Saves us three damage. Game one. We're gonna hit... Take four. He attacked him? Really? That's actually really bad for me. Because now he's at two and I don't have a cram or anything. I thought he was going to kill one of these guys off. Come on, man. With a pained grunt, Ufink falls back while shouting at his minions to kill you all. You have a feeling you haven't seen the last of him. Is he probably the final boss? <clears throat> uh, oh, man, we got messed up. I really don't like this in the two. We're probably going to lose him. A river troll. <laughs> Three more rounds I have to fight. Oh, this is the last round I have to fight. Come on, draw a cramp. Draw a cramp. Oh, you won! You attacked him. So I have to play that just in case he played someone else who did this and came in for like just ping for one. Deal two damage to one random hero if Solon has the most cards in play. <sighs> we travel, but we're gonna get a river troll. I hate to play Gandalf like that. Actually, no, it's it's, it's fine. Go back to the abyss. You cannot pass. Let him do something, you know. I don't play his ring in this deck because it'd be cool to have, but to have both cards at the same time. Okay. I don't need to rid anybody, I don't need to do anything. Guard card three? It's so much. <clears throat> yeah, I know he has block. Remove pursuit. He has no pursuit. Well, you know what I could do is just travel, take the three. I've got block here. Because if I don't, he can still play out three cards. Either way, I'm taking a hit from him. Yeah, that's, that's uh, definite. broken through the enemy ranks and reached the heavy oaken door. Rushing into the room beyond, you hastily barricade the door behind you. Hinges rattle and splinters fly as the orcs administer powerful blows, urged on by a deep, booming voice. The door won't hold long. A hiss causes you to turn as you realize that you've stumbled into the tower's jail. Smeagol is crouching before one of the cells, glaring at you with undisguised loathing. 
You don't have to guess whose cell this is. Smeagol hisses again, rising protectively before the cell door. Uh, stop, Sim, we must. Oh, nasty masters cannot have precious. The door booms again, and several planks fly across the room. Smeagol shrieks as he charges you, face twisted with deranged fury. Oh, a 110. Final encounter. Drive off Smeagol. Save Bilbo. Finally, my boy Bilbo. What's this? Oh, it's time. Someone won random or you must free. He flees at two or fewer. Well, I can definitely do that. Should I put an ally in play real quick? He's got six starting. That's at the end of the phase. Wow, I did not pay attention to that. <laughs> On silver necklaces they strung for the master. Six is pretty strong. Just seems like he's gonna swing back two. Might make it. Can you swing back one? Play gaining strength. That way, I don't take that uh, that damage twice from him. That's a good card. Too bad he's gonna die. I mean, he's not too bad at all. He's gonna kill my boy. Um, ready him, ready him, and then just blow out Smeagol? Is that what we do? All I really need is like someone to put him down to like two or fewer, so I only need two people. Screeching about how tricky and mean you are, the creature flees through a crack in the wall. The last you, the last you hear of him is a wailing, precious. Sorry, I guess I can't do the voice. Explosions. This is still timed, I guess. Um, all right, so now I can act to start freeing him. Oh, ten is a lot for me. <laughs> <coughs> oh no, he used to have two. I need to heal him back up. Leg it, double quick. That's fine. Oh. Oh, it's not fine. We're about to get a river troll, aren't we? Shoot. Okay. Okay. Let's clear him. <laughs> One. <laughs> Dang it. 
I mean, Vigilant would only put plus one on here. Oh my gosh, that guy for real? Ooh, we know that guy. Oh no, we're not getting them both. Are we? Are you kidding me? The wounded orc twitches on the ground, still clinging to life somehow. It has caused its way to a, to a darkened corner where it reaches out to grab the, the rusted bars of a massive cage. Pulling itself to its feet with one last ounce of strength, the orc opens the lock and releases something large and terrible. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, best thing, I just one-shot him, I guess. Oh, now they're gonna kill Gimli. God, no. Thank you for your service, Gimli. Hey, kill the river troll, guys. Well, I gotta kill him. I'm at 40. That's not looking good. Oh, no, 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 please. <laughs> That's the same text. That's not the last we've seen of him again. Where's my helpful squire at? Nope. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Are you bound to your service? Do one damage to a random character for every time you play a card. One, two, three more. I can take this out. Which honestly isn't a bad idea. He passed, so. He's got four cards in hand. And then I can ever vision up him real fast just to add some extra damage into this door here. Pretty much guarantees our victory right there, I think. Cram's good. That should be it, boys. Everybody. Oh yeah, quest complete. You're elated to have found Bilbo, but the situation is grim. Just beyond the broken door, Ufthak and his orc warriors are preparing a second attack. You cannot hold them off forever. Trapped and near despair, you prepare for a last stand. But wait, a shaft of moonlight attracts your eye. Screams and pleas from the other cells tear at your conscience, but there's no time. As you swear one day to return for the poor souls, Uthark commences the second onslaught. Quickly, you lift a reluctant Bilbo out the high window, following headlong yourself. You crash onto a steep slope and tumble violently down through branches and brambles, until deposited with a splash into a cold stream. You see Bilbo a small distance ahead, treading water and sighing. Oh no, old boy! Not again. The current of the stream is strong, dragging you quickly downriver. In the distance, you hear the now familiar cries of an orc pursuit. You're not in the clear yet. All right. Golly, that was rough. Down the point. Ooh, what we get? Ready one wounded character for zero? Golly. We don't use that, but it's good. And into the dungeon and in the round with zero orc units in play. At full health. Without encountering Whoo! Like. <clears throat> huh. 
All right, that was We Must Away. All right, guys, the last quest in Campaign 1. Down the Anduin. Whew. All right, guys, we're going to full play that one in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all in the next quest. Later.